come here. Blobby, they were right. Yeah, I thought it was a bunch of bull. Who was right? What are you guys talking about? Where you been for the last month, kid? Why do you think the Indians have been picketing ever since we started this job? Yeah, man. They're claiming that we're disturbing some ancient burial ground. But the Katona tribe's more than 20 miles away. Yeah, I know. But they think anytime someone finds a freaking arrowhead around here, the land is theirs and they want it back. Man. This thing looks over 100 years old. Yeah, it's gonna look good in my dinner under that moose head, too. Hey, man, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Nothing. Come on, guys. We gotta clear out this junk so we can finish the job. Now hit it with that pickaxe and try to break it up. Break it up? Shouldn't we try to save it? Might be worth something. What do you say, son? Give me that pick. What the hell was that? You think those picketers out there beyond the lights? Yeah, they're probably getting a good laugh at our expense, too. Jeez, that guy's a hot head. Well, let's just see him coming any closer. Miller, you taking this way too far, man. Give me that. Come on, guys. Let's, let's get out of here. Not till we finish. Riley, help me. I think Hanson's right. They say we call it the night, fellas. Riley, I've changed my mind. It sounds like a good idea.
Hi, honey. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh. Look at you. Oh, you have grown up. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I guess it's just more dramatic because you're not here all the time. Well, uh, here, let me take this. And, uh, let's get moving, huh? Did your mother have any instructions for me? Instructions? Yeah, like the last time you came out, she told me how to wash your clothes. You even told me how to make your toast. That was two years ago. I can make my own toast now. Wow. You have grown up. You said that already. Look, your mother's going to be in Europe for the summer, so... Like it or not, we are stuck with each other. Well, we can make it go a whole lot quicker for at least... Civil with each other. Okay. I don't suppose she gave you any instructions on how to do that. No. I guess we're on a roll. Swanky resort. Katona's are all up in arms about it. A swanky resort? Here? I know. Come on, I'll get your bag. It's okay. I got it. Just like your mother. Dax, I told you before, don't call me here. I'll see you tonight. Sheriff. Holly, what's new? Besides, you having a date with Dex tonight. Did the picketers give you any trouble? No, I just walked by. Where's Kelly? She's coming in. Even when you're together, you're not together. Holly, is anything happening? Well, Sadie Riley called, said Paula didn't make it home last night. Maybe he's just pulled another all-nighter out at the site. I mean, they're working him like hell. Yeah, Dex told me that. I don't think so, Sheriff. How's Lisa Miller? Neil's supposed to take their kids to school this morning and never came home. He was working out at the Cran side too, wasn't he? I think so. Hey, right, Mark, take the second car. Go out along 81. I'll check in 395. Maybe they got in a wreck. I'm away. And I'll meet you out at the site. Copy that. Hey, Jim, what are you doing here? In case you haven't noticed, the sun is up. Well. Truth be told, today I got babysitting duties. What are you talking about? You know, the, the field trip, the university kids, uh, the archaeology class, remember that? Oh, right, right, right. When is that? I'm from my way over there right now. All right, well, keep an eye out for Miller's truck while you're out there, okay? Yeah, sure. See you later. Yeah. Hollywood is working for you. You oh, look just please. like one of those Hollywood hotties. I don't even live in L.A., lol. I live in Upland. Well, it's still a thousand miles closer than I'll ever get. Well, don't go too far. I need you to hold the fort. Listen, Kel, uh, I gotta make a run. I'll be back in an hour or so. Then we'll get you situated, okay? <laughs> I got it covered. Take 20 where the cement trucks. Why aren't we pouring? The foundations aren't ready yet, sir. Thought you had that handled. Well, I, I did, sir, but. But what? You told me you had your best men on this all night. I did. But where are they? Why isn't the job done? Well, that's just the thing. Uh, Mr. Krantz, when Dex and I showed up this morning, they were gone. Wait, Jimmy. I don't think so. The cars are still here. And, uh... and what? Yeah! Yeah. Not now, Dex. We found more. Lots more. What are you talking about? You found what? I think you should see this for yourself, Mr. Grant. This way, please. Give me a wait here. I 
This is all I need. This could be an incredible find, Mr. Kranz. Right. Cover it up. What? Not now, Dex. You heard me. Pomeroy, I told you, I want it buried. But Mr. Kranz, Dex has a point. No but but this is Pomeroy. Native American Council finds out about this, they could shut me down for weeks, possibly years. I've got too much invested in this to see it shoot down the tubes right now. Understood. Dex, you know what to do. The survey team started on the second quadrant. And you tell them, they find any more of these relics, I want them bagged and sent straight back to me. Son, you heard the man. Get going. Whatever you say, Dan. How many men besides you and your boy know about this? Just the morning crew of 10, sir. Tell them I'm gonna double their salary and I want them on the Hawaiian project as of tomorrow. Jimmy will make all the arrangements. What about Miller, the other two that split last night? They come back again. Tell them I want to see them first. Now let's get this show on the road. Get the tractor warmed up. Yeah, do that. Look at him, will ya? He ain't had a hammer in his hand in his whole life. What's up with the big cheese, anyway? Didn't think I'd see him out here until the ribbon ceremony. Well, you know Mr. Kranz, he loves to micromanage. He wants you all to be on the lookout for any Indian relics you might find the next parcel. Maybe you should come out with us and survey and scout around a bit. No, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna get his ass out of the trailer. It's gonna be 110 in the shade. Meaning the faster we get this done, the faster we get out of here. So let's head out. Don't forget to check in later! I got the uh, students all situated pretty well out at the Krantz site. I'm headed back. Any sign of Riley's truck? Uh, that's a negative. All right, we'll keep looking, will you? Right, I'll keep my eyes open. See you later. study archaeology, not astronomy. Give him a break, Josh. Now, I want to see the eclipse, too, when it happens. It's not going to happen for two more days. Wait. Right. Hey, Professor. You find something, Mr. McMurphy? Uh, not yet. I was just wondering how the stars were looking this morning. Your comedic talents overwhelm me, Mr. McMurphy. I think you'd want to drop all your other courses and concentrate solely on stand-up. <laughs> all right, Professor. Just kidding. I know. But if I've taught you anything over the last semester, that a good scientist knows when to look down and up. Well, a major celestial event like this won't take place again until 2078. I can wait. Is it true this is the best place to see it, Professor? According to the observatory, the optimum place for viewing the eclipse is right here in the Alabama hills. Hmm. Guess that's why all the motels in town are full up. It's history. Just like what you're digging for here on the Earth. When you three realize that all the sciences are mutually bound together, you finally have learned something meaningful. Now keep working. Hey, Professor, Professor, wait a minute, check this out. Oh, no, Mr. Cook, hopefully not more of your would-be arrowheads. Oh, no, 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 this is something else. That's weird. What is it? Bones, I can tell you that. Keep brushing. Yes, by all means, Mr. Cook, keep brushing. That's no dinosaur bone. It looks like a mammal. I think it's a femur. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What is that? A uh, tremor. I didn't know that we were on a fault line. We're not.
everyone okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, let's get back to work. Place once over? Yeah. There's Pomeroy over there. Maybe he knows something. Look, just make sure that second quadrant is clear, okay? Sheriff, glad you're here. Just about to call you. About those two missing men, right? Actually, three. Miller, Riley, and who else? The new kid, Chuck Hansen, just came on uh, past week. Any idea what happened to him? Not a clue. Sheriff, this is Richard Krantz. Sheriff? Mr. Krantz? Pleasure to meet the man behind the curtain. You got quite an operation here. It's just the beginning, Sheriff. This desert is gonna be an oasis within two years. You wait. I'm sure you're right. Provided your uh, workers don't keep disappearing. So they didn't make it home either, I take it? No. You're working them pretty hard, aren't you? I pay them well, Sheriff. You know, this may be a little sensitive, but uh, why don't you question the picketers that are in front of your office? They're doing everything they can 
to hold up this project. Oh, so you think the Katonas are behind us? No secrets about the threats. Not to mention phone calls. Jimmy. Hey. Yes, sir. All I'm suggesting is the Katonas have a definite motive. And you should at least question them. Well, Mr. Krantz, until I find some evidence of foul play, I don't think I'm going to do that. Sheriff. Sure. Found this. I'll be on the construction perimeter. The brush. It's Miller's rifle. Along with this. Ah. That should be enough evidence for you to start an investigation, Sheriff. Mr. Krantz, it's all the same to you. You do your job and let me do mine. Let's go. All right, Pomeroy. You're still pouring today, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's get the lead out. We got some foundation to lay. Mark, I want you to bag that stuff up, drive it over to forensics. County seat, tell Coogan to put a priority on it. Sure thing, boss. And call Sacchetti at the impound. Tell him to tow those vehicles in for a going over. Anything's going on? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But I don't trust that guy. I think he knows a hell of a lot more than he's telling. Where are you headed? Take a drive over to the reservation, talk to Stormcloud. Maybe he knows something. Maybe he does, Chief. started then, Mikey. The sheriff wants those vehicles towed in immediately. <sighs> All right. I'll get it out right away, Mark. Right away. Almost. Well, well. When did you get back in town? This morning. This morning? Let's see. What took so long? Things. I see. And uh, so now you're back for the whole summer? Apparently. Do you have anything you want to say to me? Yeah. Yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, I do. I missed you. Me too. doesn't mean you have to be belligerent with everyone who disagrees with you. I only want what's right for our people and us, Kaya. That's just it, Blackhawk. There is no us. There never was. What do you mean? I don't wish to be a part of your militant stance with the townspeople. Now you talk like your grandfather. Weak. Tired. Unwilling to stand up for our rights. If the white man has taught us anything, it's that we must fight for what we want. Yes, fight! I do not like how you do that. Well, hello, Sheriff. Oh, yeah? You come to arrest us all today? No, nothing like that. Just need some questions answered is all. Is your grandfather home? He's just starting Sweat Lodge. Oh. Um, I can come back later. Oh, no, please. I'm sure he'll see you. Come. Yeah? So, how's your teaching been this semester? It's okay, I guess. It's been a bit tough. With the cuts in federal funding, we've had to combine a lot of classes. But the uh, students have adapted well. 
Maybe you folks should think about opening a casino around here. Mm. Grandfather doesn't believe in them. He says they weaken the spirit. Well, maybe so, but it sure would bring in some much needed revenue. It will also bring drunkenness, prostitution, and crime. Well, good morning to you, Stormcloud. Sheriff Evans is here to ask you some questions, Grandfather. I didn't think you'd mind. Running Wolf, it is always good to see a brother. Haven't heard that name in a while. Well, maybe you should use it more often. Well, I might if I could only convince people to get beyond the color of my hair and eyes. One just needs to look at your beautiful daughter to know that your bloodline runs strong. So how is Kelly? She's fine. Just got back in town today. She has the spirit of the Katona. And her mother's attitude. She is young. Come. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going, Sheriff. My next class is at 11. Thank you, Kyle. You have come about the incident at the work site, have you not? Yes, that's right. How did you know? I heard about it earlier. From who? Jinkana. Don't know him. It's Indian from the grapevine. Yes, three men have gone missing. And you think that someone here may be responsible? Maybe. Maybe not. There have been threats made by some of the picketers. Angry words don't always lead to violence. The three men are missing, but I didn't say anything about violence. If you know something, Stormcloud. I know that that's why you're here. To accuse one of us. This is just a follow-up. None of our people set foot on that ground last night. And neither should anyone else. What happened to those men was a sign. Construction must stop. With all due respect, Stormcloud, that land is not on the Katona Reservation. Still, it is on unholy land. Listen to me, I, I was just out there this morning. There is nothing there to indicate that your ancestors were ever there. Our ancestors, Running Wolf. Our ancestors. Have you forgotten that your grandfather, a great chief, is buried on this reservation? No, I haven't. You must never forget. The blood of the chiefs also flows inside of you, Running Wolf. It's what gives you the strength over evil. I, I understand that, Stormcloud. But being sheriff allows me to extend that power for the good of all. Then know that whatever lies out beyond our borders should be left undisturbed for the sake of all. Well, half-breed, who do you serve today, hmm? Indian or white man? Both, equally, if only it were the truth. I say we call it a day. We got about another hour of daylight left. Let's just go ahead and knock it off, though. And we don't have to come back tomorrow, okay? Whatever. Hey, Lou, go ahead and move to your left about a foot, would you? All right, but let's make this quick. I'm toast already on one side.
You didn't feel that up there? Feel what? We had a serious earthquake just hit us down here. You didn't feel it? Come on, quit fooling around, you guys. Let's just get this thing done. I didn't feel anything. Okay. Um, hey, do me a favor and, and move forward about, uh, about three feet. That's more like it. Dave? Dave? What the hell is that? before it's too late. There is no secret, only death. They brought this demon unto themselves, but we can use it to our own advantage. No, the Bone Eater is a, an enemy of all life, not just the white man. Once all six renegades have been resurrected, the creature will be unstoppable. I must find the Bone Axe. The creature must be destroyed before the six become one. If you're too afraid to wield that power, then tell me of this sacred weapon. I will find it myself. 
Now who is being foolish? Once the eclipse is completed, it will take the will of the gods to destroy it. I don't believe you. With a creature as our ally, we could drive the white man from all of our land. Restore our people to prominence! Anger clouds you, Black Hawk. You cannot befriend evil to do your bidding. There must be a way. And I will soon discover it. With or without your help. If you don't mind, could you repeat that? Yeah, no problem. I said I found traces of crystallized blood and bone samples embedded in the cloth you sent me. What does that mean? Well, for that to happen, the victim would have had to have fallen straight into a blast furnace. Well, there's nothing like that out there. And here's something for Sherlock Holmes. The shirt itself shows absolutely no signs of being burned. Could the blood samples have been introduced into the cloth sometime later? Not, Not a chance. chance. Sure about that. Stay Stay on it. Well, thanks, Sal. As usual, you've ruined my day. Sorry, Steve. I'll send you some free aspirin on the county. Yeah, I'll be looking for it. <whistles> Come on, Dad. Nobody does that anymore. Oh, well, I guess I'm getting old, Cal. Well, where are you going all made up like that? I'm going up to Big Pine to see a movie. Tonight? We haven't spent two minutes together. We have all summer, right? Yeah. But I, I don't want you going up to Big Pine tonight. What's the big deal? It's just a date. With who? It's not that Sacchetti kid, is it? What if it is? He's too old for you. Dad, he's just 21. Well, four years at your age is a, is a lot of difference. Mom is four years younger than you. It's not the same thing. It is to me. I can handle myself. Yeah, well, that's just what I'm afraid of. Look, uh, can't you just humor your old man once and stick around? No, I'll be back later. No, you'll be back at 11. Dad, I'm 17. My house, my rules. 11. Whatever. Get this straight. You just compromise your integrity for money? What he's doing is wrong, Dad. And you know it. Look, don't lecture me on what's right and wrong, all right? That money is putting your ass through engineering school. You don't want it? You want to spend the rest of your life digging ditches? It's fine with me. Money isn't everything, Pop. And I'd rather you not sell your soul to Krantz just to put me through college. <sighs> Look, son. It's easy to have high morals when you're 22. But at my age, how am I going to start over? A man like Krantz has the power to ruin me for the rest of my life. Only because you gave it to him, Dad. Kaya, uh, is everything OK? I hope it's not too late. No, not at all. Uh, please, come in. Anything I can get you? No, thank you. I'm fine. So, what brings you over? Look, Steve, I know why you were at the reservation earlier. It's those missing men. Stormcloud sent you, didn't he? Oh, I felt that he was holding something back. No, no, I came on my own. Look, Kaya, all evidence points to the fact that these men are dead. Now, if you know something, you need to tell me. Well, it's not something you're going to want to hear. It's Blackhawk, isn't it? No. Have you ever heard the legend of the Bone Eater? 
Yeah. The curse of Torak. <laughs> yeah, my older brother used to spook me by telling me scary stories about it. Well, according to Stormcloud, the legend is true. Oh, come on. Two centuries ago, the Katona tribe and white settlers alike were menaced by a band of six renegades, led by a young shaman named Torak. Yeah. He was bypassed as rightful chief, so he broke from the tribe, right? They harmed so many in their quest for power, engaging in ritualistic murder, even cannibalism. It took several medicine men and many warriors to finally surround the six and destroy them. They were buried unceremoniously in the same area where 30 years ago, a group of miners uncovered the sacred bone ax. Tragically, the creature awoke from its slumber. The men were pierced with shards of sharp bone, disintegrating them. And before the miners realized what they had done, it was too late. One of them was able to pierce the creature with the sacred bone axe, sending it back into the earth. But unfortunately, None of them survived. By building on that land, Krantz has desecrated the sacred ground and once again awakened the Bone Eater. That is why Stormcloud wanted the ground left alone. Kaya, this is the 21st century. I can't act on legend. These are evil spirits that were sealed in the earth eternally with a sacred war axe. Yeah, yeah. And before he died, Torak cursed his killer, saying that his bones and the bones of his brothers would rise up like a demon and take revenge. Right after the ghost of Christmas passed. I should not have come. Oh, Kaya, I'm sorry. Listen. Please, please, forgive me. It's just that I've got three men missing, presumed dead, and I can't go to these people's families with legends of bone creatures. Steve, this demon lives. We are in great danger. Kaya. For what it's worth, thank you for coming over here and telling me this. It is only worth something if you listen. Just for a few minutes, okay? Relax, Lyle. Nothing's gonna happen. Well, maybe something. Yeah, if you're lucky. I got something for you. Yeah? I got a good idea what it is, too. <laughs> no. Really. Yeah. Oh my god, Dax. You're so sweet. What is it? Go ahead and open it. <laughs> believe it. It's so beautiful. Where did you get this? At the site. You're kidding me. No, no, there's tons of great stuff out there. But when I saw that, I knew it was meant for you. Took it to the town jeweler, had him shine it up like new. You're the best. <laughs> Here, wait. Let's see what it looks like. So what do you think? It's beautiful. Just like you. What was that? I don't know.
Kelly. if we make it through the summer in one piece. So come live with me. <laughs> Do you want to be the one to tell him that? No thanks. Jeez, it's so late. I gotta go in. Do you want me to come in with you, try to explain? No, 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 no. I think it's better if I do it myself. But where is my purse? Uh, I think you left it in the back seat. What's that? That? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's some old tomahawk or something. Found it uh, laying around the lot this afternoon. Now, let me slide over here a minute. young lady? Late, I know. It's 3.15 a.m. That is beyond late. <sighs> Kelly, I thought I told you to get back home before at 11. I would have been, Dad, but there was a huge accident on the other side of the county line. Come on. That kind of BS doesn't cut it with me anymore. I'm not lying. Look, you don't start telling the truth, you can forget about ever seeing that Sacchetti kid again. You can't tell me who I can date. When you're in my house, I sure as hell can. Look, Dad, there really was an accident, OK? Traffic was backed up for miles. I'm surprised they didn't call you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Evan's here. Hey, boss, sorry to wake you. It's Roberts. It's OK, buddy. I was up. Just got a call from Burns down at the station. He got a dispatch from Highway Patrol about a truck accident a couple hours ago up near Big Pine. Yeah, Kelly was just telling me about it. Sheriff, there's something else. A vehicle was found smashed to pieces up on Krantz's property near the site. How's it affect us? They found a purse on the side of the road. Sheriff, it's lollies. You sure about that? Yeah, they found her county ID inside the wallet. They called us right away. Right, uh, I'll, I'll go check it out. Sheriff, if it's okay, I'd like to go. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you out there. What was that about? Nothing, it's just routine. Now who's BSing? I'm sorry, honey. I really am. I shouldn't have doubted you. So what's really the matter? Lolly may have been hurt. I'll call you when I know more, okay? Hank, you got any of this figured out yet? Not yet, Steve. But it's the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Skid marks are here, and yet the truck's over 100 feet away. Looks like somebody moved it after the accident. Uh, take half a dozen tow trucks. Yeah. And why the hell would anybody want to do that? And the driver? Not here. I figured he must have been thrown clear and wandered off in a daze. Unless somebody carted him off. Where'd you find this? Right over there by the shoulder. Show me exactly. 
Thumbs up. Here comes trouble. You got that right. Sheriff, this is getting way out of hand. You haul that chief in for questioning, and I guarantee you he's gonna crack. Mr. Kranz, there is still no proof that the Gatonas are responsible for this. When are you gonna wake up and smell the war paint? First three men are missing. This driver's the fourth. Say nothing about my property. Now it's obvious to me that they are responsible, and I want to know when you're going to make an arrest. Let me ask you a question for a change. What? Have you uh, uncovered anything unusual recently out at your site? <laughs> well, what's that got to do with the price of eggs? Well, have you? No, I have not. Well, you realize, of course, that failing to notify the authorities of a historical find on state-granted land would constitute fraud. Could even subject the owner to severe civil and criminal penalties. You know, Sheriff, I've been in business a long time. I've gone head-to-head -head with top men in almost every field. And I don't intend to be intimidated by some bumpkin lawman who has a soft spot for his people. Now I suggest that you find out what's going on, and I mean fast, because the next phone call I make is to your boss in the county office. Fine. Here. Number's on the card. Excuse me, Mr. Krantz. Mr. Pomeroy is on the car phone. He says it's urgent. What does he want? I wouldn't say, sir. We're leaving here anyway. Come on. Yes, sir. Let's go. You complain about having to get me coffee. Never again, Sheriff. What a pair. All right. Now, where was that purse exactly? Over here. Found it sitting right here. Thanks a lot, Hank. She came from the woods. She was running. Hard. You can tell all that just by looking at the grass? Mm. My grandfather taught me when I was a kid. Yeah, but how can you tell? A good Indian tracker can read a trail across solid rock. Something, Sheriff? Yeah. Yeah, look here. This branch was broken fairly recently. And it came from at least 15 or 20 feet up in these trees. So whatever was chasing her was at least that tall. Maybe a bear? 15-foot bear? Not likely. Well, what then? Yeah. Look at these relics. This could be an old Indian's grave. I thought the ancient tribes never buried their own in the ground. No, they burned the bodies as offerings to their gods. Monroe to Sheriff Evans. Come in. This is Evans. Go ahead. Hey, Steve. Uh, those helicopters haven't found any sign of that missing driver yet, but we did spot an abandoned vehicle along the road of the lake. All right, we're close. We'll check it out. You got it. A couple of patrol cars are coming down the service road as well. We'll meet them. Out. Let's go. Look, Miss Hayes, I'm dumping $110 million into one of your communities. The least I can get is a little damn cooperation. I have to let him run his investigation. Investigation? Is that what you call it? Because I'm up to my ears in OT pay. I've got delays upon delays because my men won't come to work. Now, I don't care who's running this investigation. I just don't want them running my corporation into the ground while they do it. I understand. And I am more than sympathetic to your position. However, I can't and I will not railroad any officers under my jurisdiction to bend the law to suit your financial needs. Miss Hayes, if I'm not mistaken, your term is up in three months and you're seeking re-election. 
I know this because a number of people in your party have contacted me regarding substantial contributions. Maybe they think what I'm doing in your town is worth a little more consideration than I'm currently being given. Is that a threat, Mr. Krantz? Politics and favors make wonderful bedfellows. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Oh, I understand this. I will talk to Sheriff Evans myself. You just better pray that everything going on at that work site is on the up and up. Do you understand what I am talking about? Good day, Mr. Krantz. Mr. Krantz, we're here, sir. This way, sir. Jimmy, you wait here. Yes, sir. Anybody else seen this? No, I just uncovered it myself. Called you as soon as I did, and I sent the other guys to the main site as soon as I saw it. How long do you estimate it's been here? hundred years, maybe two. Well, I don't care how you do it, but I want it gone. You understand? Mr. Kratz, this is more than just plowing under some artifacts. Pomeroy, do you like your job? Sir? You do as I tell you, and there's a nice bonus in your next pay envelope, okay? Mr. Kratz. No buts. You bag up the bones and get them off my property. You got it? Got it, Mr. Kranz. Good. Jimmy! We're out of here. Yes, sir. Copy. They're running the plates right now, Sheriff, but this is Pomeroy's truck, all right? Yeah, I tried to call his father. The cell service is oh. dead out here. Yeah. Nine millimeter, missing the clip. Looks like one of the same, huh? Sure does. Well, now, boss. Well, I say we hit you ride back to our cars. I'll check in at the office. You stop by the Pomeroy place. It's on the way. Seeking a way to undo the evil. You can't do that! That fool! How dare you transgress the prayers of a chief? Have you forgotten your place? I have no place with cowards. Speed, not down that hill. Nah, Seth, no tickets today. Sheriff wanted me to talk to you. All right, what's wrong? I'm wondering if you know where Dex is right now. 
No, what happened? I found his truck down by Pine Lake this morning, abandoned. No sign of him. So what are, what are we talking about? Another kidnapping? Come on, I can't be sure of that. Go right down there. Where exactly is it? Yeah, you know, I'd appreciate it if you talk to the sheriff first. Mark, come on, please. Take me to where the truck is. What was that? Uh, not, nothing. I didn't hear anything. Well, there it is again. What you got in the bag, Seth? I, um... Seth. What's in the bag? I checked with her mother and some of her friends, and nobody's seen her since yesterday. Hmm. How about Roberts? He checked in yet? No, not a peep. I'll, uh, I'll try to raise him. Yeah, he's probably sleeping. I could use some myself. Oh, uh, Commissioner Hayes called. She said she wants to talk to you right away. Oh, brother. How'd she sound? Same as usual. Pissed. Yeah. Get her on the line for me, will you? Uh. Yeah, sure. This is Evans. Steve Hayes. What the hell is going on down there? What do you mean? I've got Richard Krantz making a lot of noises up here about some Indian uprising against his new development project. That's not even close to the truth. He says the evidence is overwhelming and you've refused to make any arrests. Hell. I could go down there right now and arrest the whole damn tribe, but that's not going to stop what's going on. Well, it better stop soon. There's a bank full of money at stake here. Not to mention the political fallout. This project isn't completed on schedule. And if you can't handle it, the governor is going to have to send in the militia to keep the peace and protect those workers. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Good. Keep me posted. Oh, hey, Steve. I tried Roberts twice on his car radio. Still no answer. Well, try his apartment. And if you get him, you let me know. Uh, will do. Grandfather, where are you going? It is time. I've seen the end. We must find the bone axe. But it took many warriors to destroy Torak. Kaya, please, there is no other way. The beast must be stopped. No, not the bone eater. There are too few of you to defeat it. I cannot undo what has been done, but I can't put a stop to it. Now, please, Kaya, stay with the tribe. You will be safe here. Dad! Dad, did you find out anything? 
No, nothing yet, Kel. Who would do such a thing? I don't know, honey. We can't assume the worst yet. She is still just a missing person. They've had choppers and search party scar in that area all day. If she's out there, believe me, honey, they'll find her. Are you sure? I promise. I'm doing everything possible. Burns to Evans. Burns to Evans. Come in. What's up, Big Jim? I, I just got a call from the emergency room over at the trauma center. Uh, they found Mark lying on the side of the road up near Whitney Portal. They're bringing him in right now. What's his condition? Well, according to the paramedics on the scene, he's in pretty bad shape. They want you over there, Prado. I'm on my way. I'm coming with you. All right, all right, jump in. Burns to Evans, Burns to Evans, come in. This is Evans, go ahead. Hey, Steve, uh, there's a woman here from the reservation. She says that uh, it's imperative that she speak with you immediately. What's her name? Kaya. Big Jim, tell her to meet me at the hospital. Any idea what happened? Uh, based on his condition, I'd say something outside of the norm. How so? Follow me. got me stomped. The bones in his right arm and his right hand are completely gone, resulting in this fleshy mass. What could have done something like this? I'm just a country doctor. I, I'm not a specialist. Can he talk? Well, understandably, he's in shock. I wouldn't bring him out. Uh, well, did he say anything when they picked him up? Paramedics said that he was rambling on about uh, being attacked by some giant skeleton-like creature. Obviously, delusion from the pain. Yeah. Yeah, right. You take good care of him, Doc. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try to find that delusion. I want six others to patrol that south perimeter. You hear so much as an owl fart. You shoot first and ask questions later. Mr. Krentz, we have a problem at the main gate. What? The Katomas. Son of a bitch! peaceful access to your property. You're too late, Chief. You Katonas have taken this situation way out of hand. It is you, Mr. Krantz, that has broken this ground. And it is you that have uncovered these unholy relics of our ancestors. I don't know what you're talking about. The bone axe. It was here somewhere, we must find it. You take one step through that fence, the only thing you're gonna find is hot lead. You understand me?
would do that to Mark. Well, if you believe Stormcloud, there's some sort of weird creature running around the Indians called the Bone Eater. You don't really believe that. Well, something's going on. But right now, nothing is making any sense. Steve! What are you doing here? It's Stormcloud. What is it? He took some of the tribe and he went down to the work site. Why? He's looking for the sacred war axe. Yeah, well, all he's going to find is trouble. You have to stop him. Burst Evans, Burst Evans, come in, please. This is Evans. Go ahead, Jim. Uh, Steve, I just got a call from the Krantz site. They say they're surrounded by Stormcloud and his people. All right, I'm on it. Gaia, take Kelly home for me, will you? I just hope I can get there before it escalates. weapon made with sections of buffalo jaw. Much like a tomahawk. I just saw a tomahawk last night in the back of my boyfriend's truck. It was really old. Are you sure? I'm positive. He said he just found it lying around the impound lot. We gotta call him right away. <laughs> said for you to take Stormcloud to the reservation so that he would know what to do with it. Yeah, well, uh, Stormcloud didn't make it. Sheriff, no offense, but uh, I really think that you need to call the Army or the FBI. They won't believe it. I mean, by the time they decide this thing is real, it'll already be too late. All right. What are you going to do about it? And I want you to head back to town. You get Kelly and her friend Kaya. You wake them up if you have to, but I want the three of you as far from Sweetwater as possible by sunrise. All right. What about you? Don't worry about me. Sheriff, I can't. Mike! You gotta be miles away from here before that eclipse tomorrow. You got it? Yes, sir. Stopping all the evil. How? Come, we must go. I'll tell you on the way. Mike, what is going on? Where's my father? See, your father's all right, okay? He went up to the reservation to get something. He went with Stormcloud. The sheriff said Stormcloud didn't make it. Oh my God. Kaya, I'm so sorry. Ladies, listen. The sun's gonna be up soon, and we gotta be out of here before the eclipse, okay? I'm not leaving without my father. Kelly, the last thing that your father said to me was get my daughter and get her out of town, and don't let her talk you out of it. No, but- No, 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 there's, there's gonna be no talk. Get in the truck right now, both of you, come on.
finding your Kapana roots. Put the knife down. Put the axe down first. Can't do that. I said, put the knife down. Now.
the tribe, right? Oh. I never left.